Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you should have printed this out by going to Course Compass, and under my button that says Supplements, uh, there was a Supplement C and a Supplement C Answer Key. So, hopefully you printed out both of these. Uh, I believe there's a total of nine problems, so I'm going to go through and make a video for each problem, although some of them we probably have already worked in class, but hearing them again is not going to hurt, okay? This supplement involves linear models, which basically means this entire supplement has to do with applying the formula y equals mx plus b. So here's our first question. Question number one. A cell phone company charges a monthly fee of $29.95 and $0.12 cents or $0.12 for a minute made for calls during any time of the day or night. We are supposed to express the monthly cost C as a function of X, where X is the number of minutes used. And then for part B, we are supposed to say what the monthly cost would be if we use the cell phone for 415 minutes. So let me work this on paper, okay? First of all, it says write C as a function of X. Now, X in this problem, X in this problem is going to represent the number of minutes used. That is my input. And C, which is my output, is going to represent the cost in dollars. Since this is a linear model worksheet, we know that we know that C of X equals, um, you know, we can we're supposed to be able to write it in the form M at Y equals M X plus B. They started us off with a pretty easy problem. We're told that it's costing. Um, 12 cents a minute. Now, of course, this has to be written in dollars since the fee was given in dollars. So, if we're charging 0.12 for one minute, then for x minutes, we would be charging 0.12 times x, right? 0.12 is for one minute, but in this particular problem, we're using x minutes, so the usage cost for the minutes would be 0.12 times x. And it tells us there's a monthly fee of $29.95. So that monthly fee gets added on whether or not you use minutes at all. So basically 0.12 times x is the part that varies and the $29.95 is the fixed part. So what I've done is exactly what the problem asked. If you'll read your sheet it says part A, okay? express the monthly cost C as a function of X. That's what this means. C is a function of X. And this is what it is. Okay, so that's part A of my problem. Now part B wants me to use that function. It says in part B, what will the monthly cost be if you use this cell phone for 415 minutes? Okay. So what I'm doing is I want to know what the cost would be if I use 415 minutes. So I'm finding C of 415. I'm simply plugging that into the function. 0.12 times 415 plus 29.95. And I pull out my handy dandy calculator and I multiply 0.12 times 415 and I add in 29.95 and let me read off my calculator here I'm coming up with $79.75 and I've got to tell you uh, who is this that was doing this oh they didn't tell us who this person was but I think I'd look for a new plan that doesn't sound so good, does it? But anyhow, that's how you work problem number one. It's pretty straightforward. 0.12 times X was how we computed the cost, the dollar cost of the minutes, <coughs> excuse me, and we added on the monthly fee. And then part B was just using the function we had just created. And we're done.